welcome to this chronicle in what is the final version of Frogger. I have done what I need or I want to do with this project. It is not 100% uh, complete as regards the arcade version, but it's near enough for me for now. You can see I've got the board on a wide shot. It might be slightly out to focus. I'm going to zoom in on the actual screen, do some gameplay and talk about that in a second. You can see we've got the usual stuff, the SP32, the screen, the audio amplifier and the speaker. So I'm just going to zoom in on the screen as much as it'll let me on this camera. And it'll be out of focus for a little while as it just sorts itself out. Can we go any more? Is it going to focus there? No, back a bit. Okay, there we go. Might do a bit of a digital zoom as well. I've turned the lighting down in this room. Hopefully it'll make the screen a little bit clearer. Occasionally it's hard to get the lighting right with these screens. And with the reflectivity of the the breadboard around it as well, it makes it difficult to get the focus and contrast just right. As you can see, it's got um, an attract screen. So the attract screen starts off with the uh, word Frogger being built up along the way. It's not identical, but it is similar to how the arcade version went. Then it gives you the points breakdown. You can see we've got a credit there. I can put a credit in by pressing one of the buttons on the controller, which will just bring into shot. So you've seen this before, this is the controller I use. So I can put some credits in. It won't play until credits are in. The second screen, which we might have seen there as well, after it's done the scores, it actually puts up the high score table. So there are five scores, five top scores that will be stored. Well, not stored, I'll talk about that in a second. They're on screen and what the top score will go up at the top. You can see there's a high score in there at the moment, very low. These are not stored after you power down. I could have done that. I actually did write the code for it or copy it from my Space Invaders project. I'll put a link up there now for that if anybody wants to watch it. But the EEPROM is handled a little bit differently than the Arduino, so the, the commands didn't work right away and I just didn't bother implementing it stored to EEPROM. Anybody wants to do that, then please go ahead. So we'll play a game, and we'll just turn the sound up. There we go. So the music is fully implemented, as are the sounds as you hop, all mixed together. If you've seen the previous episode of Dark Audio, then you'll see that these sounds can now be mixed and played together. So we've got the full background music, and on Frogger it plays celebration music, different, oh darn it, different celebration music when you get a frog home. So as soon as you can get all frogs home, we'll hear most of the music. And as you know from the last episode, flies and Lady frogs are implemented. The time bar works. This is a sign for the time bar. It gets down to the red. I'll show that if I can get all the lives basically in. I'm actually playing this from the actual camera screen, which makes it a little bit of an extra challenge. You can hear the different celebrations. These are all off the arcade. I brick these all off the arcade version these tunes that are coming on when you get a frog home. Ah! One, le one frog left. Come on. Oh, we're close. Get that one. One to go. Lady frog. That's not going to work. Let's try that. There we go, did it. I'll let this frog die. And you'll see the time bar goes red when you've got about five seconds to go. It's about 10 game beats. And you get a warning noise as well. But that is it. That's as much as I'm going to do with this project. On level two, it will be exactly the same as level one. I didn't implement level two. Level two would have snakes on some of the logs. They also have crocodiles in the frog homes. Just wait a second. There you go. You'd have crocodiles on the frog homes and you would have crocodiles in the actual riverway as well. Didn't implement that. Um, basically, I am, I've done all I want to do and working on this resolution of screen is not fun. So to implement them, them more graphics and alter them and change them, it wasn't there. I want to move on now. This is as far as I'm happy. I'm happy with it as it is. I'm going to move on to my next RK project with a bigger screen, a full resolution screen of about, I think it's 240 by 320, very common screen resolution. 
the bigger ones and I'll implement the next game on that. But the full code for this is available at extronicle.com. So if you look, there'll be a link down below to the actual page where I talk about this Frogger project and the code is there for download. But that's it tonight. I feel almost exhausted from this project. It's been going on for 10 months, mostly to that one because I had to implement the audio. I wanted the audio done properly, which meant writing that Dacordio library. I'll put a link up in the corner now. Writing the Dacordio library. So that it could do this, the, the, the sound of the music some justice, which I think it does. So I'm really pleased with that. Hopefully somebody will build a project. The only other thing I'm going to do with this Frogger project is I need to release these breadboards for other projects as I'm going to put the entire thing on some sort of veriboard so it has a bit of a permanent home and it's not just taken apart and never used it and never sort of switched on again. I'm going to sold it up onto a board so at least it's there. If I want to think about doing another similar project, I can at least use that same hardware. That's it for now. Nice quick video. Like and subscribe if you like the content. And hit that notification bell and I'll see you next time.